Diet Dr. Pepper, the Anthropocene Reviewed, reviewed. The, what's the central idea? Overall, Green gives perspective of the man's inner desire to indulge in cravings. He explains that it brings him a flashback to older days, correlating his cravings for the soda to his cigarette addiction, not because of the buzz, but the inability to fight off a want for something unhealthy. Purpose. Green develops this essay into his experience with Diet Dr. Pepper. His final motive is to justify guilty pleasures and explain how his brain functions around his need for the drink. Audience. Green's target audience is those who also enjoy the soda and their love for unhealthy cravings, normalizing that not everything is very rational. Speaker. John Green attempts to relate and further justify his feelings and others' unexplained love for things that are bad for us. Situation. This chapter takes place in present day of John Green's life. He first gives us the background to the creation of Diet Dr. Pepper and then transitions to his thoughts slash experiences on the drink. First section. In, this, in these first paragraphs, Green gives context to his topic. He goes in depth explaining the historical background of Diet Dr. Pepper and its creations, narrating how the drink was made, sold off, and then picked up by Foots alluding to the logo's appeal of his luck of starting a job as a salesman and becoming wealthy. Section Breakdown The blue highlighted is the background of Diet Dr. Pepper's recipe. Well, just Dr. Pepper recipe. The green highlighted is the backstory of Foots, the developed CEO of Dr. Pepper in later reference. The pink is the start of his career and success he inherited from becoming the CEO of this successful and unique brand. This section is the exposition to Green's essay. Here he is grasping the audience with the story of Dr. Pepper to later implement his argument to how he feels about Dr. Pepper. The second section. In paragraph 6, he starts to really emphasize on how much he supports the Dr. Pepper brand. How the brand can make Diet Dr. Pepper and Dr. Pepper so alike yet so different implicating the love he has by explaining how smart they must be, stating that no other brand has been able to achieve this. Appealing to his bias of how he thinks this brand is superior to any other soda brand, from its unique taste to its unmatched attention to detail. Paragraph 7 is his counter-argument. Here he dismisses the criticism of the soda's artificiality, saying that this is what makes Diet Dr. Pepper so special to him then adds an imaginative flashback of the kids in Waco, Texas, establishing an emotional connection with the audience using pathos. To later connect himself to Dr. Pepper and in turn emerge emotions from the readers of Remnants. In the first part, he begins by basically using positive diction to say that Diet Dr. Pepper is superior to others like Coke and Diet Coke, where he makes a comparison that Diet Coke is a hummingbird if Coke is a golden eagle, saying that they are from the same brand, but they don't really taste the same. But Dr. Pepper and Diet Dr. Pepper have had a breakthrough and have been able to correlate the taste, but be different. And in paragraph seven, he basically addresses um any statements that the artificiality of dr pepper is revolting um saying that there's too many chemicals in it but he says that's what's special to him um because it it allows him to enjoy something that's safe that's engineered for him in the third section paragraphs 8 through 11 he is explaining how his need for diet dr pepper roots from his early 20s needs for cigarettes in his comparison of Diet Dr. Pepper to cigarettes, he explains how his early in his early 20s, his addiction to cigarettes was not because of the buzz, but the pleasure of giving in to unhealthy cravings, creating the bridge of a comparison to how he is now addicted to Diet Dr. Pepper because of its unhealthy tendencies, not because it tastes good, but rather because it fills that search for a vice that he left open when he quit smoking, showing the reason to why he dismisses any health risks. And then in the top highlighted section we have an anecdote from when he told the story about his 20s that discloses his cigarette addiction there remains a yearning within my subconscious that cries out for a sacrifice and so i offer a faint shadow of proper vice and drink diet dr pepper and in the bottom there is an explanation for how he feels a void once he quit smoking he felt a void that now he 
has filled the Diet Dr. Pepper. But it is an exceptionally minor vice, and for whatever reason, I will always feel like I need a vice. I don't know whether this feeling is universal, but I have some way down vibrating part of my subconscious that needs to self-destruct at least a little bit. He is saying that he doesn't know if this is an everyone experience, but he will always have that part of him that wants something that will quote-unquote self-destruct him, but not necessarily. That's what he looked for in his 20s when he started smoking. It wasn't because he wanted a buzz or he wanted to look cool. It's just a part of him wanted something that wasn't good for him. And when he quit smoking because it was genuinely too much of unhealthiness, he picked up drinking Diet Dr. Pepper, which he believes is not super big of a health risk for him, but it's still something that will quiet down that subconscious voice of needing a vice. Okay, so now we have an essay structure breakdown. So in the beginning of the essay, Green starts by, by giving context to his later developed topic. He gives background to how Dr. Pepper came to be and the story of the CEO Foots. In the middle is his admiration for, diet, for Dr. Pepper and his counter argument response to critics talking about it's just chemicals. In the end, it's his relation to diet Dr. Pepper. Here he explains how Dr. Pepper is, unhealth, is the unhealthy pleasure that replaced his smoking addiction. John Green gave this chapter four stars. I think he, he gives diet Dr. Pepper four stars because it goes near and dear to his heart on the sensitive topic of addiction. He sees diet Dr. Pepper as his healthier alternative against smoking addiction, and I think four stars is a perfect rating. Although he knows this isn't the healthiest alternative, and that's probably why he gave it four stars and not five, the average, per the average person wouldn't normally turn to from addicted to smoking to addicted to soda. He is a step higher from the, previous, from the previous addiction, and it is not as harmful. It may still have some, quote-unquote, like he discussed, health risks, but it's not smoking. And he's proud of himself for that, and you can notice throughout the chapter. Thank you for watching this presentation.